New details are emerging about how the FAA is going to start requiring commercial drone operators to register their aircrafts in an effort to promote safety. As 10 News reporter John Horn reports, built-in safeguards in the drones haven't been enough. When the drone is close, the buzz is unique. But when Jim Bonnardell commands his DJI Phantom to fly away, it disappears along the horizon. A lot of these craft are capable of autonomous flight, going to a location, turning around, coming back uh, without pilot intervention. Bonnardell is a pro. He heads the Silent Electric Flyers Club, which has space to fly near SeaWorld. Most new drones have safeguards. They can't fly above 400 feet, and built-in GPS won't let them go near high-profile places like airports. Uh, I have no problem with uh, following rules. But that's not the case for everyone, especially those who build their own crafts. That's why the FAA initiated new rules Monday. The agency is going to require all recreational drone users to register their aircraft. It's in response to an increasing number of incidents near major airports, wildfires, and of course, over crowds. Anytime you fly over people, so, you know, public gatherings, sporting events, and if you, if you look back to the news stories, those are the ones you see. A recent report from Senator Dianne Feinstein's office found that of 1,000 incidents reported nationwide from April 2014 to August 2015, one in five occurred in California. And San Diego's 14 incidents rank at third in the state. And drones are flying off the shelves as prices decline. Aviation Week projects one million drones sold this holiday season. In Mission Bay, John Horn, 10 News.